Hello, Demi. So Welcome to the uh, interview of uh, your sessions with the Council of Nine project we did for the Hellfire Group. Great to have you here. Thank you. Nice to have to have nice to to talk with you also and to uh, participate to your lovely project and I, I love it thing and I, I love it uh, because uh, it's in the realms of my uh, my um, search for my quest in life also because mm -hmm. I have a lot of interesting things going on on my life uh, in the last year. Thank you. Excellent. You you started the project probably when we were about three quarters into it and, and you jumped right in and produced three wonderful sessions. So you were really prolific with the short amount of time that you had. Thank and you. I want to get into those. Before we do, I'd love to hear a little bit more about your background uh, in remote viewing and any other any other background information you'd like to share? Absolutely, yes. I will start to say some uh, about me. So my name is Dimi, of course. Uh, I'll make it quick, so we'll go to more interesting things. Uh, well, I, I was an, uh, a reader, uh, an avid reader since childhood. I mostly like science fiction, movies, literature, and uh, I always hope that it must be something out there. Sorry, beyond my knowledge or understanding. So three years ago, due to some sad events, I started to look closer to the issue of consciousness and the survivor of self beyond that. But I guess prior to that, this issue are in my back mind just like into a TV documentary, when you look into a TV documentary, it seems interesting, but I, I didn't pay much attention to them. Uh, because I remember that like seven years ago, just random in a search for some topics, I found about the uh, English one. And it amazed me who he was and what he has done, but I soon forgot and get back <laughs> to my day-to-day -day things. So I was not ready yet. And uh, then I come across like uh, two years ago, two years and a half, uh, at a documentary made the summer in 1970s in a TV show with Russell Tark about an um, object that he kept in his pocket. And he said to the audience that um, they should draw that thing. I was amazed by my results in a way where no coincidences here. Although knowing about NLP, I tried to search for queuing or hidden signs on that video that could lead me to the draw, <laughs> nothing. So years passed and then I started to look into what I found on internet about consciousness and one thing led to another. I found the amazing channel of Jeffrey Mishlove, new thinking aloud, starting to watch everything about remote viewing and dove into reading all that I could find then. Then I joined the remote viewing groups from Facebook. And sometime later, I took online classes of Lori Williams, basic and advanced, which changed my entire life perspective. And so then added friends, target challenges. And um, after a while, I started to watch interviews with Joe McMonagall, Lynn Buchanan, Paul Smith, Edward Jordan with his amazing videos, Corny Brown, Dick Algier, Algier. And uh, I started to purchase books on remote viewing. And last but not least, Dan Smith, uh, which I very much respected and uh, really love <laughs> as a remote viewer. I embrace it with passion, everything I found on his site. And um, I remember after I started to learn that I went crazy about my misses. And then I came across on Brad Stewart remote viewing practice videos. and. Then I have again a hit and I healed uh, my pain of not getting my right descriptors or seeing something wrong. I was doing okay, but I have a lot of misses, a lot of practice, a lot of study. And I was, and I'm still, I'm really obsessed by this martial art. And a year later, sometime in December, 2020, I joined the Discord group where I found the warmest welcome and help and especially where I made friends, people dear to me with whom we share good and bad about remote view and not only any newcomer here, 
there with supported and help in every way possible to gain confidence to not give up. And there I saw Daz coming to voice chat, talking and giving advices there. And I was so stunned and lean long about before I dare to get there. And uh, <laughs> well, I felt, I, I, I know I already told you, but I, I, I would say it again. I felt like uh, God was coming to talk with us immortals and mm -hmm. especially with me in particular, yes. I think I, I ask a lot of foolish and crazy question. My English was the, is not fine today, but was much worse play a year ago. So it was not very much helping me. So then he started some project and for the first time I reach up and spill all my ways to get there, no matter how ridiculous I, I could be. And then after some talks, information exchange, after he gently refused me on asking him to teach me later, he decided to, to do it. And uh, it was a year ago and free of charge. It was a fantastic year. I grew new wings. I understand RV in many different from one year ago. I have mistakes, hits, slumps. Oh my God. <laughs> During this all the time, he was near me, guiding me, answering all the questions, looking to find what could make me more confident and gave me a lot of support and space to discover what works for me. So today I'm here with you now, but uh, I'm just hoping that we have uh, like 50 years from now <laughs> doing the same thing at least. Mm -hmm. So this is my goal to, to, to keep doing this. I don't know until what, but I, I really mm -hmm. like, I really like this. Yeah, ever okay, expanding so, journey. Yes, it's, it's more than that. I also, as you told me earlier, I also tried and still uh, try um, moral tapes and yeah. Um, yeah, enrich my life since I started and uh, understand myself in a better way. So that's me today remote doing and doing other stuff too so that's mm -hmm. it you're still using the monroe tapes currently yeah monroe institute i am i am mm -hmm. yeah i am and uh, i didn't finish yet because i i i stop at, at, at some focus and way to deal with my problems and finding solution to my inner quest inner question sorry I think I left my Monroe tapes. Uh, I had the whole gateway experience. I think I left them in a hotel room a couple of years ago. Oh my God. <laughs> they, 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 uh, it was time to move on to someone else. I think they were the old cassette tapes from the, uh, the eighties or something. I, I purchased them in the early nineties, but anyway, yeah. Monroe Institute's a great resource. Yeah. Well, um, Council of Nine, we're not going to get into uh, the details about the tasking. We'll have that in a little intro uh, audio or video clip at the beginning of the recording. But Demi, why don't you share your screen and we'll start going over your okay. sessions. Um, this is the first one from the, the first task. So um, I will start by uh, tell, me my, tell, tell you my sensation. Uh, on this. Uh, the first one was that I was on, on, on very high ground, on a solid ground, and um, like something deep, like uh, I have like a sensation of, of something deep and the uh, tunnels and I have like uh, blurry, curvy, Covering so nothing very very particular to this. Then I tried another one, and I have life, and land, and man-made also. Then I approach myself to the target in in a different way, and I felt the concrete things there. I felt the the hard solid things on, on what I saw there, like hard solid ridged man-made long rough gray, um, sudden abrupt. Um, curvy point flattering windy isolated i saw uh i found something there that was uh, very solid but also down underground and a little bit above, above ground i heard a little squeaking i don't know <laughs> like it was a pig <laughs> or something that's for fun only 
and uh, I remember I remind myself like a house, like in a move in in a, in a line from um, from an old song of Camel. I can see your house from here. Like it was, I was somewhere, and those things that I saw was in front of me, but far, far away from me. So um, then I tried again to search the signal line. And then I see, I, I felt uh, a very clear, uh, let's say structure, man-made. Um, but it was like it was camouflaging into the, into the entire space, into, into the landscape, not lens, not the real, real landscape, like uh, nothing but seeing if you went there, you cannot see it as like what it is for what it is. You, you, you have to know, but by know the address went there and see what's happened. And uh, little things come, became little big things. And I have like windy whistles and uh, it, I felt like it was outside, uh, pleasant. Uh, the taste, it was again, like outside, like fresh. I don't know what, I, I, I felt also the crane taste. I don't know why I did have this, like a charbon or thing, charcoal. Uh, and I also felt like a static energy there. And plus a little motion. And I, I went far away from this. And I moved in front of the target and started to see more than I, than I thought at first. Um, sorry. Uh, Demi? Is, yes, I know. I know. <laughs> I, you're going over the session. And I'm like, man, I, man, what, what I, did I, I say? <laughs> I, I went over her session like three or four times and I don't oh recognize this. <laughs> I have and to I, pay. I have to pay more attention. I'm, just, I'm missing <laughs> crucial I'm so pieces sorry. of data. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, that was great. <laughs> it was. It was. It I thought is, I was starting oh to lose my, my mind. God. Like, whoa, man! Like, <laughs> <laughs> can I start again? Can oh I start? yeah, we'll we'll start oh, it please over. Please <laughs> don't be upset. Please don't. Oh, I'm not can upset. you can you cut this into yeah, the what, you, what we'll do is um. Uh, just, uh, <laughs> um, let's see, do we need to stop the share just to make a nice clean cut? Yes. Um, How can we stop the share? Stop oh yeah. Just share? hit stop okay. share and then we can start okay. it again. Let me, let me, let me open the, okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, please. Sorry, sorry, oh. sorry, sorry. Oh, oh I'm so great. ashamed of myself. <laughs> You were talking about that camouflage and you had a little square and I'm like, oh, I just, Jesus. I totally missed that. And then when, when I saw the little sailboat, I was like, wait a minute Oh, here. Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Did it happen to you before? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, sure. Yeah, it, it happened. Oh, mm -hmm. Jesus. <laughs> happens I'm all so the time. Ashamed. I'm so ashamed. <laughs> but... <laughs> I was reading and seeing and reading and seeing this. Oh my God, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hmm. Oh, okay, that's it. Seven, five, two, six, one, eight, three, four. Isn't it? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll start over. Oh my God. Uh, Okay, let's. Uh, I will share the screen. Okay. Can you see it? Uh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I will start from my first uh, videograms when I, where I have life and energy. And uh, I have like an hour as that energy is flowing. I have the narrow sensation of being long, tall, coming down. I have a structure here, felt like it was very narrow and very tall and with hollow spaces. And I went again to do my ideogram 
drill and find out about energy, man-made and land again. It was darkish or, or dim light, solid, vertical, hard, rough, tall, spacious, narrow, level, leveling down and tired. I have a, a very claustrophobic sensation, like I was uh, in, a, in a tunnel, in a vertical tunnel uh, with um, very narrow, narrow, narrow spaces. And uh, they are going up in a long, 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 long trajectory in a vertical way. So that was my sensation. I was there. And uh, the more that it was up, the, it was a decreasing size more and more. It was rectangle, hard, pull, blackish. I felt like it was airy, not airy as air, but something was gaseous there. And I felt like it was something there and I have an hour as pyramids passages or tombs or maze or labyrinth and I felt it was majest majestic sound to us and uh, I, felt, I felt like it was an, an old castle a sensation of something royal imperial to, to it and then come again to my ideograms and again having the same thing but I, I was trying to get more from the signal line so and again energetics and uh, man-made and i have an owl as a ghost from that point and i felt it was cool humid darkish curvy edgy on the space it was a hard rough dull humid place with the cool humid temperature i have a visual of gray black blue whitish the blue whitish was more like dispersed fuzzy in my visuals uh, the luminance was low uh, in like in a darkish place like a shady place and uh, the contrast was like a darkened light the uh, type on, on on parts of it i i taste like a humid stale stony uh, type of, of taste and uh, also on my uh, olfactory I have an energy that was misty, dispersed, and again, the ghosts were coming as an owl in, in the session. And then I drew my mass density surface volume thing, and it was hard, solid, tall, hollow, huge, vertical, spiraling, circling down. I saw like a stair that was spiraling down, misty, dispersed. I, I, at that point, I have a creepy feeling of, of being there. A creepy thing, like like in a dungeon, an old dungeon, an old prison, uh, from an old historical building from that time. It was long, with roundish surfaces, spacious, vertical, hollow, but lower, darkish. I have a feeling that I saw an orange, bright luminance at some point, and I have now well as a candle flame. I don't think it's possible, but who knows what's happened there. I have a sensation of descending on something, on leveling down. Um, the space was closed, and suddenly I have the sensation of uh, an entire universe closed in, in, in those, into those, in that space, into those walls that I, I felt of, about. Um, then I have an hour as a microcosm, and I note myself that nothing outside this space resumes only at this space because I, I felt it's very important. Then I must I move to the most important feature, the target, trying to perceive something. I, I, I felt like I, I was seeing like jet lines, then like intersected jet lines. And then uh, again, like something was uh, in a zigzag way. And I try to, to sketch this the way I saw. And then I come again like a, in a spiral kind of, of, of leveling down type of structure or, or way of leveling of something. I have now as a labyrinth. Then I suddenly remember the, not remember, it came back, back, back in my mind, the chain of DNA uh, in that way of uh, this disposition of DNA. So then I decided to take a break from my DNA thing. And uh, after five minutes, I got again into the session and suddenly saw this 
thing like a chimney, like a very hard, solid thing that was going up above me and uh, very narrow. Uh, it was like an old feeling when I was there, uh, darkish, like the wall was sticky, the place was hollow, um, an empty place. Uh, place. I, I felt, I felt it comes pro, from this place, a sensation of a hermitage, like, like it was very sane, something sane was happening there or, or something very spiritual on that level. Uh, then uh, from that line, I saw something like a brightness here, but I, I, I wrote that was empty brightness outside, but nothing more than that at that point. Then I move again to the focus of the target as, uh, as you intended, as I thought, as you would intended. And again, come of this ideogram is a very, very, uh, uh, representative for me for the energy thing there it's like a big 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 energy happened there not like a big in 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 uh, in the sense of uh, huge it's like very important for me if when i'm doing all this ideogram again and again and again like circling down again and again and again it's very important it, i have to to understand what's there i have like a now as a fire energetic black orange again a very mixed things, very mixed sensation. And then I think this was not exactly what I was thinking of, but I was thought of, of a drill doing somewhere something like, like making holes or in steps, in leveling, like with muffled sounds, something very strange, like a tool or something. I don't know if you, mm -hmm. if it's okay. Do you think that's a, a metaphorical image or? I think something? now I think that's a metaphorical thing because I also have it lately, late in my session, uh, other, uh, like, let's say, mechanism or gear that were sort of a metaphorical way of trying to translate what's happened there into my mind because maybe I don't understand what really is there. So my mind trying to translate into my wording or my understanding. I don't know. So something yes. moving down, downwards, drilling down. Yes. In steps, in leveling, in drilling. But it's kind of relate with the, not with the structure that I saw, that I described uh, a little bit uh, earlier, but more like the sewing machine from the late time of the session. Mm -hmm more like mm -hmm. well you you see again this spiraling moving mm -hmm. so that's why i'm talking about the the maybe it was trying to tell me something about the <clears throat> the spiraling thing of dna you know the the disposition mm -hmm. of dna but i don't know and uh, I also have a, a sensation that was uh, about a metallic thing that was doing all of business there but I don't know how many times but it was something that it was used it was blunt it was carved I don't know maybe I sense something from that place from a specific tool that I don't understand about but it was coming into my mind and I I, I felt the need to 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 put it down and to draw it it's it was feel like a tool that I used to drill or something I I, I noticed there I try to uh, describe it as a cone-shaped, metallic, solid, pointy, semi-hard, rough, feels like wooden, the place that was drilling in, like a very powerful, like a diamantine type of drilling, you know, that, that can drill everywhere and uh, do like holes or whatever. <laughs> I don't know for sure. It's a spiraling thing. It's a spiraling uh, type of moving downward. And um, I felt like it was an earthy type of, of smell that I felt there, like a blacksmith work, <laughs> of course, <laughs> if it come to solid ground. And again, trying to touch, to see my diagram, what it's showing me, um, energy, uh, movement, 
I have like a glowing, getting down, and sudden at this point, I have like a, a, a multitude of, of mixed sensation. Uh, so I was felt uh, the need of writing down the Prometheus fire coming down, like a multitude of, of information that I was uh, sensing. Uh, and uh, my mind was trying to understand uh, by putting the owl as Prometheus fire, like holy fire, like holy knowledge, hidden knowledge coming from up, down to somewhere. I didn't know at the time where, what was happened, who was the... Uh, receptor here who was a, a receiver here sorry so I felt like uh, I feel I wrote here I feel like I'm in front of an opening from sky accessing great unknown knowledge hidden knowledge and again an owl come uh, was coming to my mind like gi giants coming to earth and uh, like in the place of uh, in, in back time like I don't know my maybe thousands of thousands of years, maybe more than that. Like uh, when your people, uh, earthlings were Neanderthals, like we're not finding the missing link between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens today. And maybe that kind of feeling I have, it was a missing, missing link. Uh, it was a um, sudden a drop of <clears throat> information that changed everything. Um, so I try to move myself on my OLs because I have a lot of this at that time. So then again, come to data and I suddenly feel like a big ball of energy uh, loaded with data coming down. Uh, I, I wrote this landish, not like in the land type thing, but coming down to something. I don't know it was land or not. I felt like the data was very, very important and it was concentrating like bits of type one and zero, like digits type of data, binary type of, like a metaphor for me was trying to tell me it was information, information, information was coming from, uh, from uh, up. And then I probed myself to see what's, what's the purpose of it. And I have like a many, type of answers here and engineering, mic micro engineering, fixing, adding, putting together, patching. Uh, usually I have one or maybe two maximum kind of answers when I, when I prompt myself to see what's the purpose, but I was needing to, <laughs> to write more than that here. Then I moved to the life from the target. The life was uh, that I felt it was like, uh, at that point, I thought I felt it was like a primitive one. So I've got it was long, tall, giant, primitive, dumb. Not in a bad way. I hope somebody will understand that. No uh, offense, to any Neanderthals. Yes, out there. absolutely no offense. <laughs> no. <laughs> then I have the in my mind come to me the. Uh, image uh, from the Odyssey special, special Odyssey, I don't know, uh, 2001, uh, with the primitive uh, from the start of the movie. Mm -hmm. And there are gather around multiples, again, uh, my owls as an or orangutans, then took a break again for my owls, but come back to, because I, I, I was felt the need of, of trying to draw on, on this one. And so I saw like type of primitives gather around the fire. And then I leave it like this and uh, move away from it. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I have to draw my owls. Mm -hmm. Sometimes not. So then again, the purpose and I sent it was an event. I have a sensation that uh, from the D it was crisscross something. It was terminal, final. Uh, I felt it was legendary also on my OLs. It was out of walk, not the usual path that will take somebody to do it. It was like a correspondence be between something and something else, it, but also random generating. And it was very complex, <clears throat> overrating and conglomerating. It was like, many kind of information was coming here 
and I try to compress them in 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 such simple words, although complex ones, but simple words for what kind of data I was seeing in in in, in my session. Mm-hmm. And then I've come to a mixed soup essence as an OL, like an essential thing that uh, was uh, coming from there. Sense of looping, of jumping. Again, the purpose I trust, I try to touch to see what's there. And I've got this try, I felt uh, the need of drawing this and uh, exactly like this. And then the I, I have a, like, again, my, my DNA chain. Uh, I probe it and it was like, I, I couldn't probe it like what is felt like. And I only have like tiny mixed blue rotating alive, although, and also chemical type of feeling from it. And it was sequential and rhythmic. I saw patterning and locus was there, like very important places i don't know i i felt the need to draw these things here as being very important but i don't know for what at that time i didn't know that time um i uh, i circle out some wording here and before the session uh, before into the session uh, sometimes because it's very important for me and i try to remember later to use them in my s5 or or to pay attention to them. So that's why I was circling this wording, mm-hmm. expressing out, generic. I also have the voluble, voluble. I don't know if it's a, it's a word. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's did like- you, uh, Did you look it up? Loquacious. I know what it's mean. It's loquacious, uh, talkative. Oh, okay. Uh, then I have a language thing. So maybe it's relating to is related to something uh, about the language, about speaking, about mm. expressing what you have in mind into language. Maybe I don't know, well, but yeah, you know that going with this DNA DNA data. This is maybe a little early to interject this, but I'll go ahead and interject it. You're not, you're not the only uh, viewer that had some DNA data. In fact, I'd either even go so far as to say we had other viewers using similar data like the term expressing out as if um, there was something being done with DNA in order to have certain types of uh, uh, features uh, manifest. And so this expressing out into something talkative with language could be something there. It could, uh, uh, you know, you had this Neanderthal data and then this idea of expressing out into language, you could, uh, argue that the ability to talk and be fluent in language is a evolutionary step that uh, that you know that some somebody made and and uh, from going from neanderthal to to human just wonder if that relates there at all it is and at this point i i this kind of data that i have in this page only was coming like in a streaming kind of data and when you try to write from, write uh, uh, from your professor, and he's very, very, uh, he's speaking very, very uh, rapid, uh, quick, and you cannot take all the words, and you, you try just to grab some words here, there. So that was my page made mm-hmm. from. So I tried to reach out to the most important thing that I, 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 I was feeling that was coming into that streaming of data in that page only okay let's move on <laughs> if it's too long just try, try me and, and uh make me move, move, move more faster than uh, what uh, no i think you're doing okay. great this is uh, the intention of this uh this recording uh whether it's uh, someone's listening to, it, to audio or in video it's, it's really a deep dive into this into these sessions for for our listeners and viewers that are interested in the into the deep dive of each of our viewers sessions related to this project. So uh, you're doing great. Thank you. So let's move on. Well, uh, then I move to the, I, I try to uh, prove myself with different kind of moving types uh, to approach the target on different position on different level to understand it more. So that's why I have a lot of moves uh, 
doing on S4 here. Then I move to the optimum position and describe the energy from the target. And I sketch, I try to sketch and describe the energy and I have like a punctuate, punctuate something specific, the exact location, sequential again, coming to what I was describing earlier. And I have now LS sewing machine, uh, interwound, connected, intersected. I felt curious, I felt dazzled. I, I, I felt someone there was very, very meticulous. I saw blue light, like a laser. That was my OL as a laser. And then I have like, a, again, a, a feel that I need to write this down. There is a soup made. Um, then it is extracting the juice, the essence, then dry out. Then this is adding as a preservative to another line or soup. Reminds me of making yogurt. Um, it was, it felt, it was very important to write this down. I don't know <clears throat> if it works for me later on this one, but I don't know. Uh, I, I move on to the, to the um, next descriptor. That again, my energy on a very long chain, curvy chain here. And uh, like everything was coming from up and acting there and then acting there and then acting there, like an energy coming from up, like a pulse of energy, like a blue beam. Uh, again, I have like, like the primordial soup, like life soup. And then I come to a, a thing that was trying to tell me something and um, like a digitized thing, a robotic thing, a countless process of punched card, the old punch card that we have. I don't know if you know about this when we have like uh, the start of uh, computers and uh, they have to uh, program the computers to do such things or program to count or whatever, they need this kind of punched card uh, to be, yes, with holes in them, in them to, to, be, to be put in the, I don't know, it was a special place on the computer, I, I don't recall exactly. I, I, I do remember that I saw one in my childhood, but I don't recall exactly where to put that. Kind of and like the first disk drives. Yes, they kind made of, of yes. magnetic tape, it was mm -hmm. <laughs> even more. Yes, pretty. and there are a lot of them, a lot of <laughs> paper and whatever. So again, like in a metaphorical way, I, I felt the need of, of trying that it was metaphorical way, it was like, somebody was trying to tell me that it was a uh, work being done uh, like a very fine work a very detailed work and a specific work on a specific kind of programming type uh, to have a result after that coding decoding machinery i feel lonely here it was a very cold place there i felt sterile clean white silvery and i have a uh, i have like a coming blend sensation for those who are there, like they're rigorous also. And again, like a mechanical thing, solid. And I tried to describe the, the, the draw here, but <clears throat> I tried to describe something that was more like a metaphorical type of, of drawing. So I will move on with instruction here. I felt it was like instruction to do, to do something. Like in programming type of, Instruction. I don't know that kind of, of, of instruction or that kind of information put it there in order to have a certain result. Well, DNA is is like uh, programming too, isn't it? For the for the a life form to for a body. Yes. Now it is. Now people are doing or all the time. They are cloning. They are uh, trying to fix parts on DNA to have certain plants or certain kind of animals or I don't know. So they are doing this right now in the, in, in the world. So why not them? Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, th something was striking me as like, um, at this point, I have the feeling of a piece of clay becoming life with every downward moving of an energy discharge. Uh, so I have like, I, I also think that that's a metaphorical way of me describing uh, what was happening there, because it's like, it was like a soup, um, 
it was soft, complex life, mm -hmm. lifeless, like a chemical soup. Nothing was happening there, but with every strike of energy coming from up, something was happened. And uh, this kind of whatever it was, like a clay or, or a soft mass of something was becoming alive and aware of what was happened to it. Soft, complex, alive, aware. I described it. And I have and, like uh, Lazarus, a, Lazarus get, get up, up and walk. And walk. <laughs> in my mind that kind of information come to my mind then i i, I tried to do my s5 for what i found there earlier and i got like <clears throat> sorry try to split the sequential in patterns algorithms normal procedure easy to follow mathematical strings prime numbers unsolved problems disrupting process, chemical, physical, fractals. I try everything to what I know about sequential and to move on out of that. I think that's important, like for, for pattern here, uh, about the time is very important here after I know the feedback, of course, not, not that back time. Okay, let's move on for the second S5 that I have with expressing out. Um, I felt the need of trying to say verbalizing a natural outcome also manifesting as rules applied showing off also <laughs> and the come again coming to genetic like gene express in health or in disease gene non-express in health or in disease so i was moving around the dna the genetics things on this one i think a lot then I get to my summary, the target consists in element of life, energy, man-made, every space. The focus seems to be an event that involves energy, man-made and life. The process is complex, utilizing a lot of raw material and complex chemical elements using advanced calculus in a very advanced way, like an automatic process conducted by already known possible outcomes, like blank paper ready to be filled on to fulfill some objectives. I feel like it is an important chemical aspect of the target with adding, adding an extra element, which confers to the final result, the attribute of self-awareness, an awakening, the life felt primitive, but with this extra element, it became more advanced. The intelligence behind those advanced processes seems imperial, real, hard to get and that was my end of the first session yeah wow that's a great session lots of info there um it sure seems like we're talking about some type of intelligence that's directing some type of energy which, which comes down and is involved in some process of you know dna manipulation or, or some type of manipulation yes. of code um and you know we have we have that data of the Neanderthals. Uh, you know it could be involved in the, the actual our evolutionary process of human beings. Very interesting data. Um, your the beginning of your session, you have uh, what seems to be a structural data, almost like a chimney. You actually drew a little opening, like uh, you're looking up through a chimney, and mm -hmm. and something coming down, energetics coming down. Daz's session almost had the exact same data his first session, which uh, I, uh, I thought was interesting. If you get a chance to look at Daz's first session. I um, saw it. I, yeah. It's strange, but who knows? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is strange. I, I wonder if an aspect of this target is some type of structure. Daz was getting kind of sort of archaeological kind of a feel, which could... Um, going back to your image of the drill maybe it's not metaphorical maybe there is some some type of archaeological uh you know drilling down discovering some sort of uh, a structure that comes into play with uh, the data that you and and daz were picking up relating to this kind of structural structure with uh, a chimney like uh uh opening with energy okay, coming yeah. down yes yes and uh, could be yes it could be yeah, mm -hmm. now that you tell me, yeah. No. All right, and then I retasked retasked you. Um, I know one of the things I retasked you was I was wanting you to get more information about the intelligence behind the advanced processes. Mm -hmm. Looks like you have the retasking document up open. What was my other uh, retasking? 
uh, the other task was sorry, sorry, oh, I can sorry, get it. sorry. Oh no, <laughs> no worries. I'll I'll read the the retasking here. I think I have it pulled up. So I wanted you to, as I said, get more data regarding the intelligence behind okay. the uh, process that you're describing. This, mm -hmm. and then I also wanted to get more data regarding the larger, longer term purpose of the the project. Yes, of course. Uh, so uh, I don't know if you can see. Yep. Uh, the second one, yeah? Yeah, uh, uh, is it the second? Let me see. Yeah, it looks like the second. Okay. Again, I uh, started to, after you retasked me with what you just said, uh, I went there and uh, do my diagrams and I have like an agenda man made, man -made and suddenly I have an hour of eons of time, of, of very, very, very long time. And this word was coming to my mind, eons. And it was very old, very slow, long time, long time ago, ascending curve, sequential again, step by step, intervening, interfering, puncture from up to down. And then I came up to this which after I find out about the feedback was awesome for me. Again, the owl of Enoch Buch and also the Ezekiel from Sky. And uh, after my feedback, I tried to see what about this. And it's very interesting too on, on this entire session that I have and uh, with uh, your task and uh, with your target. It's very, very interesting. It can be- You relate. didn't actually know what Enoch was did you yet no you i didn't know a thing no i okay. didn't know a thing about this and okay. uh, then i went and read the what was about the enoch book the entire book uh, i i i i read the entire book to see what's happened there and why it was coming to my i i heard about enoch book in every documentary history but i never went to see what's there exactly and i don't know what's there I didn't know what, what was there. And it's very interesting that because I don't know if you want to come to this part and to say something and maybe or later, let, 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 let it later, maybe. Uh, well, you wrote me a note. You just wrote me a little, you looked up, uh, you looked up Enoch after this session and you sent me a little note that something that yes. jumped out for you. And you said yes. that um, you were reading <laughs> and what jumped out for you was that Enoch, the seventh patriarch, in the book of Genesis, at first revered only for his piety, he was later believed to be the recipient of secret knowledge from God. And actually brought this little note you you brought up to Daz, because Daz has session uh, throughout his, uh, I think he did four sessions, of there's a, a specific life form that seems to be receiving some type of energy that's coming down, and this energy coming down transforms him. And I kept feeling that this was like a historical figure and Daz was getting kind of like that, that whatever this life form was that he was describing was kind of maybe written into story. Maybe some of it was told and retold, had become part of a myth. And when I saw this, your data here with Enoch, of course, we'll never know, but I thought, are we dealing with uh, Enoch? Does he somehow come into play here? Was that the guy that Daz was talking about? Because I really think you as different viewers, you kind of fill in different pieces for each other. Yes. I thought exactly. it was an interesting little piece of data and interesting that it jumped up off, off the page for you enough that you, you wanted to look it up and get more information. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was. I, I was very curious about it. I, what What is happening here? What is coming? Why is coming to me this kind of, thing because I didn't know about it so I have to look about it <laughs> yes mm -hmm. so well, again I will move on okay mm -hmm. and then I have a like uh, so again a deserted place with nothingness there again my swing machine <laughs> has an OL and looking doing something to a uh, uh, aspiring a curving thing from energy coming from up down. I, I felt the need of drawing this again and then again, like a chemical, very long blue energy beam down. 
you know, I try on the next session, on this session to, uh, to take some time and to move away from my first session to try not to be um, in any way uh, having noise from my first session. Mm -hmm. uh, so this, come, this was coming not from my first session, was coming exactly from a streaming of data, not, yeah. uh, uh, not from the first session. Again, I have a sense of type of 3D printing, man-made blue energy coming from up, creating from scratch. Uh, I circle again the blueprint, and I have also, again, the Prometheus has the gift of fire. Um, my life energy from uh, ideograms. And then I have like, uh, there is life and uh, rare balancing forces. And my hours jump to a galaxy far away, like kind of uh, the foundation from Isaac Asimov. I don't know if you know or everybody know again. And uh, I saw like somebody was stolen data and <laughs> uh, taking to somebody else, like stolen data, stolen pieces. And then our LS recipients here, again, I, I, I circled this one, from far distant traveling, equating, changing, equilibrium, natural. I have uh, the things here, like we're going back up. And I, I understand that it, I have to put it in my hour because it was not coming from the scriptors. It was something specific. We're going back that it was like, uh, what was Mary uh, when she uh, was having, when she was having the Jesus as a, as a child from God. Mm -hmm. So she was like a virgin, mm -hmm. uh, never uh, to be touched by anyone before uh, having his uh, uh, having jesus mm -hmm. and I, I have like a pure thing lifeless a few cultivating starting again uh, mixed data not very clear here but they are coming from different kind of uh, parts of the of the of the target and then i try again to see the purpose from you from what you've told me and I have a feeling that it was long ago. It was a, a very clean and sterile work, very clear work, very sterile, like a, like a fresh start, like a, a Garden of Eden was coming to my mind. And again, the recipients that uh, were again in, in the previous um, file, in the previous pa uh, page. And I've got a feeling like it was intervening many times. I was very dazzled about this and thrilled about what I understand it was there. But I also felt like people who was doing that, who was doing that was very somber, rigorous, like technicians, like engineers. I have a feeling like uh, an owl's like God's like type of coming from that part type of, of, of beings or whatever were there. It was hidden in plain sight, uh, balancing for ratio, conducting experiment. And then the thing was coming to my mind was, where are we coming from at that point? Yeah, well. And then I move on again to the purpose. And I see like it was happened many times, failing countless times, looking for a solution, uh, emerging from nothing, and then came to consciousness, like the source of everything. So I, I need the, to put it down on my owls. And then again, my magic potion. It was like a magic potion that was used there in my mind. So I, I have to put it down on my owls. And I have, I sense that like future is the purpose in the long run of all that what, as, what I was describing here. And again, energy, life, energy, event on my ideograms. It was like time looping. Again, coming to repeat, starting again. That was coming again to me. And uh, I have an hour like, like, I, like the fourth civilization, but now getting better, refining, getting the essence. Uh, Again, com coming to an owl as magic potion, love potion number nine. This is a movie. <laughs> I was reminding from the magic potion. 
uh, I have a sense of selfless, loving, peaceful. So if this is describing not me, not them, but the entire process of what was happening there. And then I felt joy, and they felt relaxed. And uh, I sense there is a search for a better element, for a better result solution to balance force ratio within cosmos from a far distant point in time and space. I was still at the purpose at the time. <laughs> I, was, I was doing a lot on this purpose. The purpose is a future result, not happening now. It's a refining distillation process of getting the pure results. All the generating elements are replaced with lucrative ones needed in a future distant time when time is come. And I have Chariot of God is a, is a book of area, Eric von Daniken. I don't know if you know mm -hmm, about, sure. yeah. So I don't know what. Uh, Chariot of God was uh, not the book I was, it was coming to my mind, just the expression Chariots of God. Mm, okay. But I know about it. In, in Romanian, it is different, the, the title, of course. Mm. So I was asking myself what has happened then, in that distant time, when the time has come. It was black destruction, nothingness. That was why I was describing that thing like a death star I have now well, and never ending story with uh, nothing uh, swallowing everything. I don't know if you were. Mm -hmm. the so the, mess, right? Yeah, nothingness. And then I have the second task and I moved to the intelligence from my previous session to describe it. And I had like a giant tall, old giant tall fin kind of being. <laughs> I have an owl as blue avian. Mm -hmm. um, I still think blue avian are strange and, and, and I'm not familiar with this, but I, I have had the need to write it down, to write it, write it down. Yes. Well, blue, blue avian, that's the, uh, the Corey good, uh, Corey goods description of, of who, one of the beings he was interacting with. Is, is that where you got that AOL? I don't know. I, 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 I must admit that I, I saw a lot of things about, uh, aliens in the light year so i don't right. know for sure yeah, yeah. A lot of blue maybe stuff out there. also from angela thompson smith i don't know she was having like a different type of aliens put it in some spreadsheet somewhere so i, I don't know. know maybe yeah hmm. maybe i i'll find it to 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 send to you mm -hmm. uh so like all gen tossing a few of them dying, hibernating, waiting. I have now else Mars beings uh, sense the need to move away from my um, Mars beings. So I, I have to take a break. And then I have to, from myself, to move from my imagination or my hours to see what's there more. And I have a sense of pure, of souls. Of levitating giant, huge, tall again. And I have an hour like clans and ranks. And I felt it was important. So I circled those down because I'm not usually using those kind, those kind of words, not in Romanian and not in English also. So I, uh, I have an S4 and half. I hear I seems to be life, small numbers, a few left. They used to live in stony man made huge, rigorous, sombers dedicated. So I must myself dedicated to what? And to a clean, sterile world with this. The germaphobes, world. huh? <laughs> I don't know what kind of germaphobe could be, but germs are good, you know. We have a lot of germs sure, in our yeah. guts. And they're very good for us. Um, I have a sense of being monks or priests and uh, having a code of honor of their own. And uh, then I try to move to see what's there and how are there. And then I, I have like humanoid uh, shape, blurry, but I didn't saw the face. I didn't saw any features like any features of them, just like a 
shady thing uh, was in front of me, not clothing because I tried to touch to probe them and it was like very dispersed, fuzzy and they're levitating. Feels like a non-substance, like a ghost is there, but also dispersed. It was my feeling. Then I, I, then I, I felt the need of, of drawing what kind of place I saw them in. And this kind of place was like a, a, a giant thing with tall, stony uh, type of structure here. With, uh, there were a few of them. I, I drew only three, but I don't know how many were them. Um, I felt like they were uh, searching towards something. It was spherical on a, on a platform-like type solid thing. And uh, also this round thing was not solid at all. It was like um, like a hologram, let's say, because I don't know how to express in, in another, like non-substance, being nothing on touch, but you can see it there. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to put it another way, but maybe someone will understand. Non-substance, you can see it. You, you, you cannot feel it, but it's there for sure and then again um, i moved to the objective goals of the intelligence regarding the process described earlier and i i thought it looked like an aryan type pure ascetic cleaning one and i have an owl as one and s and that's very interesting coming from 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 this part of the session thinking of the target again uh, and then I have a complete type of feeling around perfect when I when I'm writing when I'm saying round perfect this is coming from my childhood when I when I see something round and perfect it's for me it's like perfection um, perfection it means a, a very good sphere <laughs> looking very good <laughs> I don't know it's coming from my childhood I think yeah. that's why I was needing to 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 write here this is my term for being perfection but also I have a feeling that I don't like and there are serious balancing forces again around galaxies. I don't know if this thing around galaxies have to put it here on the hours, but I, I completely was uh, on the on the on writing and I forgot. On long way, long time, again the eons was coming to my mind. And then I do I S5 to the words that I've circled circled uh, before in the session. So I here I have recipients and I uh, try to uh, split them in vessels containing samples like lab or recipients of souls or beings with souls. Again, concentrated substances with poison or with holy water or with perfumes with drugs or vaccines. I think it's very important this thing, recipients with souls, yes, coming to, to my mind. And again, Virgo and Takta, required for marriage, marriage in some religions, untamed, mean Holy Mary, pure beings and virgin land also seem to me in the historic. Again, Garden of Eden, beautiful location, lush, pure beauty, pure, supposed to be the place where lived Adams and Ave, everything starting there, started there. Again, the magic potion. I have a magic potion like repairing a, a, a DNA. I don't know, ADN is my Romanian uh, DNA uh, thing. As again, come to my mind, the alchemist trying to find gold or philosopher's stone, I don't know. Wizards medicine, with incantation, amazing effects, unchange the unchangeable. No, not sorry, change the unchangeable, the magic potion. Now again, going to clans and trying to see what's there. And uh, I don't know if it's important, mm -hmm. very important, Darby. I have to move on. Things here, I'll, I, 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 I have some Things like setting rules for, for the same blood clans, important here, or then in the rank thing, 
leadership from high level, rules applied for certain level, blue blood royalties again, and distinction between soldier, we are not equal, was coming to my mm -hmm. awareness. <clears throat> Code of honor again, forever friends or unwritten rules among society, military have specific rules or diplomacy or courage or real reliability. And the blueprint, I think is the last one, yes. And the blueprint as the original for beginning every project, a scheme unchanged, followed by forerunners, apply applyable in every way, kept secret, but the mother of all processes. And so I have a summary as the focus is uh, of task one is the purpose of a process of a long term, which was repeated many times before in history, as such as Aeon's. The results are not always desirable. The purpose seems to be the preparation to achieve the best selection of certain feature from a primitive life that which will prove necessary in the future. The future seem to concentrate on certain type of lineage of perfect skills and abilities. The end of our was somehow kept secret and it is a result of trying to maintain a certain balance of forces in a different part of universe it seemed like galaxies away from the place of event. It felt like having gifts from superior gods which provided like a secret formula or knowledge or as a philosopher's stone. It felt mystical. How can you use something you don't know the knowledge of what it is? There are many interventions along history in order to achieve good results. Uh, there are also a lot of <clears throat> failures. Some of the desired features are selfless, loving, peaceful beings. The task, okay. So then the task two about the intelligence. Uh, the intelligence behind the process uh, felt big, important, and high clans, the society, a society type. But also I have a feeling of being technician, engineers of sort of, gave me the feeling of something like a monk or a priest, somber, serious, rigorous, oriented toward their purpose. Tall, giant, longile and thin, uh, appears to me hooded. I have a sense of lack of substance, of untouching them like they are there, but also dispersed. Seems like they are dormant, hibernating, waiting for something. It gave me the fear of perfection. It gave me the fear of perfection, sorry. Sorry Mother. if I, <laughs> I don't know, I, maybe it's too long. Maybe I have no. to short somewhere to be short. Okay. Doing great. You're just going over your data and uh, it's another jam packed session for sure. Um, that I, I'm not surprised that you're getting that these, these life forms are not necessarily physical, that uh, they're kind of ghost like or. I probe them. They're not, for me, we're, we're not physical. Yeah. So if, if these life forms are the council of nine there that you're you're viewing they're supposedly um really kind of at the top of the evolutionary uh evolutionary ladder or at least h higher up than we are there i think the law of one material refers to them as eighth from the eighth octave so octave meaning density so we're at the third density moving into fourth and then there's fifth, sixth, seventh, and then eighth, which is actually the beginning of the next octave. So it's the first level of the next octave wow. as well. So um, not surprised that uh, they may not have a need for a, a physical vehicle as we, as we think of it. So like I said, a lot of great data. When I retasked you, um, there are some things that stood out for me one of the things that stood out for me was this concept of balancing forces that this the Council of Nine or, or these life forms you were viewing were involved in balancing forces, balancing force ratio. Um, you wrote, there's a search for a better result solution to balance force ratio. I wanted you to explore this whole concept of balance force ratio to, they were trying to maintain some kind of balance of forces. So that was one thing. I was wanting to know what forces are being balanced. What does not being balanced look like? What does being balanced look like? And then the other thing uh, you, you talk about that all of this process of what seems like DNA alteration is for a future purpose, which I thought was a fascinating bit of data. And then you probed the, 
and you probe the future, as you said, and it was for a time in the future where there was black destruction and nothingness, which I thought was fascinating. Yeah. Uh, and so I wanted you to probe that. Um, man, you know, I have, I have different thoughts about what that black destruction or nothingness could be. It seems to be involved with these cycles. These cycles are also coming up a lot in your data. This is a cyclical kind of a thing. Uh, there's been many attempts over a long period of time. So in addition to getting more data on this future distant time where this is black destruction and nothingness, I also wanted you to sketch, <clears throat> excuse me, I also wanted you to try to sketch and describe the location of your life forms. Um, supposedly, uh, according to the law of one material, the uh, Council of Nine is located in the rings of Saturn, but not necessarily uh, on, on our dimension, but that's the closest you, you could get to describing where they're at in terms of our physical. Uh, like hidden in plain sight. Yeah, well, that comes <laughs> up in your data, doesn't it? Yes. So I was hoping uh, you'd get some data related to that. So let's get to, to session three, okay. which is your last session. Uh, can you hear it? We can now see it? Yep. Okay. Again, my ideogram show me life, a man made. I have a ILS genome patching somewhere. Again, multiple small. <clears throat> very small thing, like a, a level of nanometers or angstroms type of, mm. of level of, of doing things. Sharp, thin, pointy, sewing, spraining, wrapping, like in the movie Matrix, uh, watching a type of, of very, very clear, very precise type of, of things uh, moving on. And uh, then I have an LS across universe after I did a, a second ideogram on which I have land and energy. Across universe, uh, far across uh, instant was, I don't know what, it was like everything was happening in, in, in a split second for me in that time. Like again, the blue energetic thing, I don't know what was, what means the blue energetic thing, but it was in three times it, ca it came to my to my session yeah you have it uh, i think uh and your drawing of you know what looks like some kind of a machine and printing on the uh what what your aol is like a paper code mm -hmm. I, I think that you had said that the there was blue light or you know blue energetics coming out of what we're describing as a machine mm -hmm. that's doing the the coding or the programming yeah maybe some I... type of a laser or something like that Okay, and the sense of jumping, sending away, and then I've got a lot of LLs here, like survivors, recipients, flesh, raw material modeling, Adam and Eve again from clay. Uh, I wrote roundish, small, multiply, uh, no multiply, multiple, sorry. Uh, together, I, I don't even understand my, my handwriting here. <laughs> I was having to decipher a bit for Daz too. <laughs> <laughs> A primordial soup again, cells in my LLs, and then took an ideogram again to, to see more from mm -hmm. that point. And I have again the energy motion type, the man made land, the sense of dropping, sudden raining, drip drop, blue multiples, many chemical as an LL ingredient coming was coming to my mind. And then was like a rainy full of blue drops, small, soft, concentrated, blue sealed rain, raining. I, I don't know what was the meaning of this, but I saw this kind of, of raining, mm -hmm. rain, I don't know. Uh, in a, I was coming to my soup again. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, I have now as, as pills, uh, something very important, pills. Pills are concentrating some substance of, 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 of some sort. So this kind of very specific thing for certain results. Um, it was a liquid, lushy, boiling tap of green, uh, rich, alive uh, mass here. I have an hour as a slime, as like eukaryotes or euglena. I feel like this is the beginning of the dawn. 
Mm-hmm. I don't know why, but I, that was my feeling. Then I moved to queuing to QA from the set, from your uh, retask balance mm-hmm. force ratio, describe and sketch, and I have a sense of just uh, I have descriptive like far far across across. Well, I didn't know what across, but I think it was across the universe or something. Blue hidden little angular straight of sudden horizontal coplanar. I I wrote here coplanar. I don't know if you know the. It's in no, Romanian I, also. I don't know. It's that. in the same plane. Everything in the same plane. I, I wrote it in Romanian. I didn't know. I, I didn't wrote it in English. Uh, when every point is in the same plane, uh, horizontal. So like t- Two dimensional kind of? On one dimension. And I saw, because I saw this thing uh, then later, like it was um, uh, a roundish thing with no. Uh, uh, no depth in it, just like a like a plate, mm-hmm. uh, a thin plate. So that's why I wrote coplanar, like in the same um, in the same type of height. And I, I don't know, mm-hmm. uh, not one up, one one down. In the same uh, linear type of, of 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 being the in the place. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know if you understand me. <laughs> it sounds it sounds like what you're talking about is like a two dimensional plane. It doesn't have it's not uh, it's not a three dimensional. It's just yes, yeah, not the, only bi dimensional. Yes, this is the word bi dimensional. I was only on on a bi dimensional plane with all this. Um, that's why I was trying to say uh, it was direct, quick, uh, split second. As I said, and as an hour, well, I saw like uh, a very important. Uh, chess pawns and queen playing their roles there as an OL. I felt it was tactical, like a war. Or time is not an issue. That's why I saw it in a split second, because while was, everything was happening, happening sudden. Um, time is not an issue. I I should have done more on this one, but I didn't. Perhaps whatever this tactical balancing of, of forces is, uh, perhaps it's outside of time. Maybe it's outside of time. We know that uh, in the real uh, world, time is not exist. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I have an S7 like there. Somebody told they are giants loud, you know? So that's why I, I write here S7, they are giants. Somebody Mm-hmm. told me in my session then i've mm-hmm. got the tangible of flash from it and again came to a cannon folder i don't know if it's the exact term for it like soldier that in the front line right. used to, the to do the yeah and like an experiment so you you see you use them to see what's happened and to have the next one in a better shape or better way Mm -hmm. it was like a game changer for me then i took a break again and i have a sense of state of play like in star wars like i felt uh, i i I saw an ols insemination and i have the descriptor that 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 is happening in multiple places here there and i was stunned by it i feel that that's an action that took place on many locations. We aren't alone, has different meaning for me. They are sitting everywhere in the universe. Like this was happening many times before and in many places. And uh, well, <laughs> that was my feeling. And I, I was very, very amazed of, of this thing. So Not Earth that isn't I was the only show in town. Yeah, of course, we're not. <laughs> mm-hmm. Again, conscious and consciousness came to my LL, came to my mind as an LL here, and I wrote it down. I have a sense of union being together. And then I draw this, which I felt it was like galaxies mm. on a big spiral, giant spiral. And every little spiral here is a galaxy with planets and again like little places and this gray thing was dropping from 
outside from somewhere to every place is here uh, little drops of, of I don't know of of something chemical or something from far from long distance I have a sense of fire and ice and void here and the universe I wonder if this council of nine I mean you're, you're drawing things on such a large scale now I wonder if they're beings like this or the council of the nine itself are responsible for this uh seeding of of life all over the universe it seems to be what you're you're putting on here that there is the the love of this this council of life these type of beings that we're examining are really in charge of some type of evolutionary process throughout the whole universe and multiple yes, galaxies yes it is Otherwise, it would be a, a waste of space, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it would be. Yeah. So I felt, felt it was like sitting everywhere, creating opportunities. My S4 and half here was my sensation is that has to be done to maintain life, increasing the change, the chances to evolution, experimenting. And again, I probe the balance force ratio. And I have like a sense of they are engineers, they are clever, they are knowledgeable, so they are like gods. And I, I wrote it as an OL. The idea that is behind that there are cycles of destruction and creation of thriving and decline. This is the equilibrium zillion. I, I wrote zillion because I don't know how to say many, 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 many multiple places mm -hmm. in different cycles to maintain life. I like zillion. I think that covers it. Okay. Again, we are not alone. Life is flawed. God is flawless. Uh, I should have right here. And that was my arrow here. Show that. Oh, you didn't write it in the right column. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it was not. <laughs> because it I'm was not. Tell <laughs> Maybe he's going to see it. I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> um i have to move from this uh, uh sensation from this hour so i took a break again mm -hmm. for a few minutes and move on and you're a big fan of the breaks i think that's great you uh, as, as uh, deep an in integrity with your sessions as uh, it's possible. very noisy sometimes so for me so trying to get away from the places where i'm 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 very much into even when I took breaks, I'm 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 finding myself uh, doing something else and then coming again to my session. So it's very hard. Mm. That's why I'm 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 taking maybe it's not the right way, but this is my way of, of doing things and trying to to be away from my hours and my imagination and whatever I think I believe. No, I think it sounds great. I don't think there's a right way, but I think uh, it makes sense to me. Yeah, thank you. So again, I probe the location of the intelligence. And um, when I probe the location, now I understand I, I have the, I, I didn't have the location in, in space, in the universe. I only have the place where they lived. Okay. And uh i sense it was very uh, there are structures there pointy harsh right uh or are uh, dry i wanted to say dry yeah. here this is arid yeah empty outside cool down deep down there very deep down uh warm down chemical reaction main action i have like i don't know what means this i i wrote it down and i sense it was a stony place um, heavy giants, big uh, giants' um, walls. I didn't write, but I remember very clear that it was something like walls there, giants. And uh, when I probe the location, <laughs> probe the location per se, I probe the space where they're living exactly, and I felt it was like structures like this, mm -hmm. uh, hitting in the ground, but like little things above the ground which you know that like addresses you know that somewhere there it's a location down underground very deep very high up 
I I put it here, but I didn't uh, put it in the right uh, way. Oh, well, so ant colony, actually. Yes, exactly like there. mem, exactly like mem colony. But those were very very high, very narrow place. Um, a termite. I have an ant colony. Yes, mm. and uh, but also the the air here the i don't know how to say the air above ground is not the air it was like a thick air type of misty warm reddish not i, I don't think I, I ever thought of mars but it was like very misty mm -hmm. uh, above the ground uh, and between those things and up um that those places were huge immense tall above and under stony complex and the activity i felt it was underground and i drew this one because i felt this was not enough for anybody to understand how big was and i don't think even those were completely correct i think were much bigger than this one in leveling and having spaces and then i uh, I prompt myself to move away from my imagination again to see the relationship on this uh, uh, with her. Oh, I probed the relationship with Earth. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I completely forgot. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. what you got for one session. Uh, it was multiple spreaded across universe, engineers, masters, hidden, secluded cloaked so they're in hidden place in a cloaked place maybe mm -hmm. hidden in place side again not seen and then i stop mm -hmm. the summary is very short here that it, that is uh, all about surviving and creating because of natural cycles it is meant to rise and decline so it is needing in recruiting the evolved ones for sublimation chosen ones behind and adjusting all there are intelligent there are engineers who keep track for every change and there are in charge of keeping to the rhythm of cycles oh my god have no sense what i wrote here mm. nothing at all what uh, anyway that's it you're not sure what you you're having trouble reading it i can decipher it for you <laughs> show the summary i'll i'll read it out for us okay you got a I think you say, uh, I feel that it is about surviving and creating because of natural cycles, it is meant to rise and decline. So it is needing, it is a needing in recruiting the evolved ones for sublimation, uh, chosen ones behind and adjusting all there are intelligent, there are engineers who keep track of every change and there are they are in charge of everything, keeping to the rhythm of cycles. How nice it sounds in your voice. <laughs> <laughs> so the, yeah, thank you. So this, uh, this session was, I feel like you, uh, you kind of stepped back and looked, uh, looked at it in terms of kind of almost a universal kind of a, like the big picture, which uh, you, I think, uh, the, the session called for and able to get a sense of the you know the balancing of forces and and uh, everything else that I was retasking you on so that's your three sessions again uh, thanks so much for being so prolific uh, and getting three sessions having stepped into near the you know near the end of the project thank um, you what do you think about the council of nine now that you've you've gotten some data different types of data do you feel um, like this is a benevolent group? It, it, you know, if they exist, if the Council of Nine. Well, I'm, let me ask you this: Do you think the, that you're viewing uh, something that uh, a, a Council of Nine, some type of group that does exist? What's your sense of that, and what are you? What's your feelings about them in general? Well, I um, I read many things that are relating somehow with the same kind of intelligence behind of many changes that happens to universe and uh, i have to come to say again about uh, about set 
speaking of Jane Roberts mm. and about Bashar again. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think they're coming in the same type of information. So they're somehow something, somewhere doing their thing. But I think don't, we don't have the knowledge or the uh we, we we lack we lack uh the 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 how to say the features uh to understand and to put it in words of what they are really mm -hmm. uh, it's like I, i've said it before it's like describing what you don't know about mm -hmm. um so I think there is something. I don't know what it is. I'm not skeptical at all. I try to maintain myself in a position of neutral way, mm -hmm. sort of. So I, I really like. And after that, I, I read about, and I read a lot about this one. And I, it's very important what they said it comes to me that there is very, very much truth. It's like everything they are said from what I've read up until now is, uh, is true. Their language is very hermetical. They try to channel uh, what they said to a certain person. And their language is very hermetical. But the sense of what they said, it's the same like I've read in other stuff too. So I trust a lot uh, about them, but not being like the Council of Nine exactly, or being in the rings of um, Saturn or whatever. I don't know. That's my opinion. I hope it not, doesn't offend you in any way. I'm not trying to, 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 <laughs> to do this. Trust me. I really like doing this session what? you don't believe the council of nine live in the rings of saturn oh. <laughs> no, no i I've i i never. believe there is something <laughs> something there no <laughs> please i'm never having you on again <laughs> <laughs> no this is all about exploring uh you know using yes, your remote viewing like to it. to explore something that i was interested in in this uh this law of one channel material and that, you know, the council of nine, I found them other bodies of work now too. And, um, you know, I was just looking to get more data to try to compare the data that the viewers got with what's in some of these published uh, channeled material. And I got to say, uh, most of the data that came in, it was not data I was expecting at all. Your data of uh, the DNA, the what appears to be some type of alteration of DNA coding did, wasn't even thinking of DNA when I targeted this session. And you're not the only viewer that got uh, data like that. So that kind of thing is fascinating. And it uh, is, it is. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for being a part of this project, Emmy. Um, I look forward to getting the other remote viewers videos to you so you can take a look at their thoughts about it as well. Do you have any, um, I don't know, a website or if someone wants to follow your work, in some way do you have any type of link or anything you want to share to to learn more about demi demi or uh your no, viewing work but now that you've said to me this i'll think about it on all right on doing such a thing yeah so great thank you very much next hellfire target will uh we'll, we'll get a some, some kind of url from you <laughs> yeah, i don't actually have one Let's either see. at the moment now that i'm thinking about it <laughs> we, need, we need to get get our act together here Yes. All right. <laughs> doing important oh. stuff. Yes, for me it is important. It's very important. I, I like so much doing this, and and the type of information we are getting, it's so so impossible to get from from some somewhere else. I think sometimes. Mm -hmm. Well, certainly is a is is one fascinating way we can get the information. You're right. How else are you gonna like? You can read about it. You can read it you know, about the Council of Nine as an example in the Law of One mm -hmm. material. But if you're wanting to, all right, 
let me find out for myself is is this true what else can i learn about it you're right remote viewing is one of the the few ways i can think of of trying to get more actual uh, subjective information about it and it's a great tool yeah absolutely all right so well, darby great... thank you very much for having me in your interview and in your project too it was very very fun and i look forward to seeing more of them. Absolutely. Thank you.